go on the computer audio. We record and I see that part. That's good. Mm. And we still gotta go to Facebook Live. Facebook Live is on the more. All right, Mashika. I think we're on the same page now, finally. All we got to do now is get Facebook Live back up and running. Folks, if you bear with us, we're still getting this thing together. This is some new technology shit right here, folks. And we are having a little fun right here. Uh, I got my tech on my right-hand side over here. He's making sure we look good on, uh, aesthetically look good. I hear somebody just chimed in. Okay, we good? All right, we're about to go to Facebook Live now. You gonna stay on the line or I gotta hang up? Hang up. Hang up, we out. All right, folks. You're live with the Godfather West Coast Hip Hop as we do some more technological uh, creations. I got my man, Glenn Glass, long time engineer, long time friend. We're gonna kick it up about the music industry. As soon as we get up on Facebook Live, here we go. I see us, I see us. We're making some things happen right now. And um, we got some music to play. We got some information to drop. We're going to be here for about an hour, an hour and a half, depending on how the response is tonight. Um, once again, I am Lonzo, the Godfather of West Coast Hip Hop. This is Glenn hey. Glass. What's up? What's up, my brother? And this is what we do. Now, every Tuesday, we're here. Um, you know, back in the day, Tuesday was music day. Mm -hmm. Every time you go to any radio station, you had to have your records in there by Monday night. So that you can be there. What? Email address for the artist to send stuff out. Uh, here's my music, Lonzo. Here is my music, Lonzo. Is the is the email address. Here is my music, Lonzo, at gmail.com. And like I said before, every Tuesday, every Monday was the deadline to have your music into the radio stations so that you can get it heard by the program directors on Tuesday morning. Well, see, nowadays that they don't do that no more. So what we decided to do is grab some old and implement some new. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, we're going to take the date, the Tuesdays, mm -hmm. that the music used to come in, and I'm asking for all the artists to bring, shoot, shoot your music over to me at, at this website. Here is my music, Lonzo. I'll spell it out completely. Here is my music, Lonzo. No A on the Lonzo, just Lonzo, L-O-N-Z-O. Get that right, at gmail.com. And... Shamika will get it, and she will implement it into the show. We're going to have some people online to, to talk about it, to kick it about it, to you know, give you an evaluation, and see what you're working with. Because the Lyrical Revolution, that is my nonprofit. And we are looking to do compilation artists on compilation albums on upcoming artists. Now, the trick is you can't promote genocide, homicide, or suicide. But I mean, that is, if you're talking about killing some more brothers, I ain't messing with it. Talking about killing yourself, I ain't messing with it. Talking about killing some other brothers, homicide, suicide, genocide. Talking about homicide yourself, suicide, homicide, killing yourself, genocide, killing another brother, okay? And what's the other one? Suicide. suicide, killing yourself, suicide, homicide, yeah. genocide. Yeah. So anyway, these are the perimeters. Now, if you got some party music, I'd love to hear it. If you got something that ain't too graphic, I'd love to hear it. We're trying to make a difference in the music industry because we think we need some, we need some help, okay? We need some help. So, folks, if you got something, shoot it to us. In the meantime, in between time, while you shoot your music to Shamika at Here's My Music Lonzo, me and Glenn are going to be kicking it on some industry facts that you need to know as you move your career forward. Glenn, talk to me, Doc. Well, hey, brother. Thank you for having me on today. I'm glad. You know, we tried to have you on last week, but, you know, we were having some technical <laughs> difficulties. And, uh, you know, we had to work that stuff out. And as we move around and do things differently, it's going to be easier. It's going to be better. So, we, you know, we got to make it happen for us to do it. Well, I'm patient. I'm, I'm glad you I've been knowing you too long. I've been patient. Um, now, Glenn is a sound engineer. Mm. Now, everybody in this mama want to be on stage. Everybody in this mama want to do certain things on stage, and Glenn is here to talk to you about some of the things you better not do, you might not want to do when you're on stage, and because if you piss off the sound man, guess what, you're going to sound like shit. Amen. So, Glenn, being the sound man, tell us some things that you should not do 
as a artist on stage? Well, one of the first things I want everybody to know, Alana, is that you need to prepare yourself before you get there. Okay. Uh, when you say about getting on the stage, I'm putting that in getting to the venue and also dealing with sound check. I want to see your face, man. I know you, you got a face for radio, but you, yeah. but, uh, you just you just a head oh. you just a head on screen there. Well, you know I don't show myself on my on my on my uh, oh my you show, you so. unknown too yeah okay you know that because you said I had you always that's told face, me I, I had, had a face, face for radio, radio. Yeah, yeah okay <laughs> but anyway uh, one of the things that people do Alonzo is that they don't prepare themselves okay I don't care how good your gift is a singing dancing or whatever that might be but when you get to the venue nine out of ten times. People don't have their self prepared. I'm saying that to say there's a lot that I do teach in my workshop that I'm gonna bring back like you're doing yours that I talk about. And I'm probably going to Facebook or something and do it too instead of going out to a venue, but I, I'm thinking about some things. But people do not prepare themselves. Keep that in mind. You do not prepare okay. yourself. The reason I'm saying that is because when you get to the venue, you have all kind of things that you don't know, don't and I ask an engineer all kind of questions. You don't know how much time you waste of an engineer's time along with your own, not being prepared and knowing what you come in there to do in the first place. Now, so, when, you, wait, when you say prepared, what is prepared? Prepared is that when you come to the venue, you already know where you're parking your car. Okay. <laughs> whether or not you got some water to drink somewhere around. Okay. Whether or not you need to, uh, what time is your sound check gonna be? Okay. Make sure you have the proper formats of music that you're gonna be okay. uh, using, more than one. If you have an iPhone, have another, Form of a, Always have a backup. Uh, a, a backup. Right. Don't come there with just one format. Come there with two formats. Okay. Uh, and then also the last thing is to make sure that you know uh, what. Uh, here's a here's a sticker. Don't come to the event to me. This is what I would tell any manager to tell his people. Wearing the same clothes you're going to wear on stage. If you're going to do anything, change your top. Okay. Okay. Now everything you just said, Glenn, I, it resonates with me wholeheartedly because as a person that produces. Uh, talent shows for various people, especially as time as technology changed, it used to be real simple CDs. Correct. And CDs was simple, but the only problem was most cats brought you blank CDs, so you don't know what the <laughs> fuck on the CD. Okay, you got five blank CDs, and then he tells you to play the cut, the third cut, and then it's the instrumental, but then cut it off. Hold on, man. Yeah. That was too many instructions. I got 15 acts. Don't play that no more. We got, we got 15 acts to try and make things happen with. And then when technology changed, and then it started, people started doing the phones, they think everybody got an iPhone. That's correct. iPhone got special connections. That's correct. So I can't hook up my, I can't hook you up to my iPhone. Now I'll tell you what did happen on the iPhone one time. Plug the iPhone up, and the guy had his little connection, and plugged it up, and the, the amplifier blew out the iPhone. Mm -hmm. He looking at me crazy. I know. I know you're going to be mad, but don't be mad at me. You should have brought your shit on a jump, jump drive. That's true. Okay? So as we kick it, folks, we're going to drop all these little nuggets. And tell us, keep talking, well, man. Okay, well, now, one of the things what you're talking about, Lonzo, is that what they can do is uh, most of the shows I do now, I try to get in touch with the people. That's mm -hmm. what artists should do. Don't okay. rely on the promoter to, to know what he's doing or the coordinator because they don't. Right. Most coordinators don't know what you're talking about. They say, "Yeah, we got this. We got that. Come on." That ain't right. it. You need to physically talk to the sound people so you can ask them, "Are we getting cordless? Are we gonna have this? Are we gonna have that? Are we gonna have this?" So you know okay. what you're coming up on. That's another right. thing that's right. a ticker for engineers. Right. Now I tell you something else to piss you off. All of a sudden, somebody want to plug a drum machine in, or he got a special something something. Man, I ain't got them cables. Th there's another one. That's another one. When I get ready to end, I'll tell you another little secret to solve all the problems we're talking about. But yeah, that can be a problem too because if, if you should have your own. If you have any kind of equipment you need extra than what's normally on the scene, you should make sure you bring your own. If you're a DJ, make sure you bring all your cables that hook up. XLR, quarter inches, RCA, whatever it is, you need to have it. Right. iPhones, have your own iPhone plug. Right. CDs, if sometimes bring your own portable little CD now, but CDs are fading out. Right, right. right. They're fading out. But still, you need to be yourself prepared. And don't just bring one or two forms of formats of it. Bring two formats of music for yourself. And the sound check is always very important. Lon, Lonzo, you don't know how many times I have artists that, that come in they get mad, of course, after the show's over with, saying they couldn't hear this, they could And I said, did you come to sound check? No. 
Right. Well, bro, what are we talking about here? Right. That's you know? why we're here today, folks. Everybody want to be on stage, but you don't know the procedures to getting on stage properly. You know, when, when you are, if you're a DJ, I'm a, I'm a DJ, been doing it for years. I learned the hard way. Bring everything you need, whether you're an artist or a DJ. Bring, if you need a power strip, bring it. If you need extension cords, bring, bring them. Get you a, a backpack or a, go to the swap meet, get you one of them uh, gym bags, small gym bags, and put all your stuff in there and have too much stuff because you can never be overprepared because you be surprised at the problems you can encounter just by not having one adapter. That's right. That's one right. adapter. Okay, because somebody got an XLR, you need a quarter inch, and or somebody got a, a RCA, you need an adapter, convert this, and you'll be sitting there looking stupid, mad, because you didn't spend your time and money to come down here, and you can't do your thing the way you planned it, because you didn't plan properly. But let's go back to what I said first, though. You need to contact the audio people that's going to do the show. Okay. If that's possible, ask for their numbers. The promoter or coordinator should give you that information. Okay. And you call them personally and say, what do you have? Still bring your own note. Okay. Buy it anyway, whether you need it or not. Bring it with you because you never know what's going to happen. Right. And they cheap on Amazon. I mean, you go to Amazon, you can get anything you want for $5. Oh, okay. yeah. It's very cheap. Now, Shamika, I see you. I see you, darling. How you doing? DJ Shamika. I can't hear her. Hey, DJ Shamika, I see you online. I, w I need to hear your voice. <laughs> Hi, Lonzo. Hello, dear. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Sorry, I was on mute. All right, no problem. I got DJ <laughs> Shamika on on the on the ones and twos. Actually, she on the pause button. Take the truth. But Shamika has all the songs. She goes to the website. So if you want to submit some music, here's my music, Lonzo at gmail.com. You can send it right now. If we have time, we'll get to it. And Shamika will be doing all the pressing of play in the whole nine yards. She's our she's. She's a remote production assistant. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to give you a better title than production assistant, okay? <laughs> huh? Wait, wait, what do you suggest, sir? We, we're going to give you a better title. Let me think for a second. Uh, okay. uh, vice president in charge <laughs> of audio technology. <laughs> okay, that, that sounds mad official. Yeah. <laughs> How wrong with that? Vice president in charge of audio technology. There VP. That sounds good. Huh? That sounds good, but you okay. just said. Okay, VPAT. Yeah. Okay, VPAT, okay. VPAT, Vice President in Charge, uh, I got go. in charge of audio technology. Okay, yeah, in charge. VP, in charge. Okay, in charge. In charge. Okay, of audio technology. All right. Okay. Hey, folks, all right. You, you got a song for me, Shamika? You know I do, and um, before I get started, I just want to um, mention to the people out there, please be sure to include your contact information, your stage name, whatever it is that we can identify you because we're getting some tracks and it's literally just an email and the track. So See? I'm not quite sure, you know, who you are. And this is important piece for people to know, presenting yourself, you know, um, first impressions. We, we need to know who you are. We need to know what you're about and how to find you. So that's going to be very important. Okay. This Thank is you. an audio class in getting your musical, getting your musical shit together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Represent yourself. Now, other day, he go, I got to tell you the story before you play this track, Tamika. I think I sent you the track also. Baby Mac, I sent, I, I texted to you earlier. Now, this young brother, I'm at in and out with my son. We kicking it. Little man walked up to me. Mr. E was real polite. Hey, Mr. E, I like to buy my CD. Me and my brother, my dad is producer. When I got the CD, there was a picture on the kid. And it had a clear cover. Little man's picture was on it. I said, who your daddy? He said, my daddy is uh, Rhythm Mac. Okay. Is he home? I said, yeah, that's phone number right there. So I, call, I called his daddy up from in and out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. His daddy was familiar with me. So we got to kicking it. And he submitted his son's song. But because there was a phone number on the CD, even if the little boy had left it there, I could have got in contact with his folks, let him know, hey man, we got something we're trying to do here in the community. Bam, we got contact, okay? So if you send some music in, send in a picture, man, send in a, uh, your, your Instagram, send in your, uh, your contact information so that we can, you know, contact, we, we're trying to create a database of solid artists so as the Lyrical Revolution does their thing, We'll know who to contact. 
Yeah. Okay, we got some big things coming up for 2020, maybe even before then. So that's why we're doing what we do. This is the Lyrical Revolution. Yes, Lonzo, Lonzo's hosting it, but it's all about the Lyrical Revolution. We'll talk about that more after Shamika played this song. Shamika, you ready? Yes, I am. All right, Let's Shamika, Vice first. President in Charge of Audio Technology. Please give uh, us our first song for the evening. So fancy. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so we've got Little Mac Rhythm, and the name of this track is Gassin. Okay. She said it's Gassin by Mac Rhythm. All right, let's see what we're working with. Y'all hear that? I heard you. I hear no music, though. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Take your time. Take your time. I see my boy Thump is online. Thomas, what's up? Jeannie, Alan, Kyrie, Darren, Andrew, Aladdin. I know who that is. What's up? What's up, Doc? Paul Dozier. All right, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Can you hear that? Yeah, I got you. When it comes to the mic, I seem to succeed. When I grow up, people gon' look at me like I'm that giant coming out the sea. Yeah, what? I'm a G. When it comes to the mic, I seem to succeed. When I grow up, people gon' look at me like I'm that giant coming out the sea. Yeah. What's happening? This dad, I don't wanna get the party cracking. Yeah, when you see me, you know why I'm in traffic. It ain't fast or foreign, it ain't what I'm guessing. All gas, no brakes when I'm passing. 91 premium, yeah, I be blessing. I take off like a rocket ship, no crashing. When they see me, I'm going to Mars. When they see me, I be going far. Need the infinity to go to Mars. Need the infinity to go far. But I'm hot, bro. Sizzle down like grease on a pot, bro. Two chains on, make me do that money walk, bro. When you see me, I look like a fireball. Put two fingers up and guess I'm gonna hate her, bro. Like I'm trying to make it to a meeting for new stuff at all. Yeah, what? I'm a G. When it comes to the mic, I seem to succeed. When I grow up, people gonna look at me like I'm that giant coming out the sea. Yeah, what? I'm a G. When it comes to the mic, I seem to succeed. When I grow up, people gonna look at me like I'm that giant coming out the sea. Yeah, I'm back. Last verse, if you think I'm trying to slack up, many of all right, that's uh, Lil Rhythm Mac, right? Lil Mac? Lil Mac Rhythm. That's yes. the Lil Mac Rhythm, the brother I met the other day at In N Out on Century Avenue. He was hustling his CDs. First of all, I got to give a brother an A for his hustle skills because he was hitting every car in line, and there was cars lined up all the way to Century, looped around the Century, looking to buy his, looking to sell his CD. All right? Now, the next question is can I get some feedback from the audience? Clean, what you think about that first? It didn't grab me right off the top. It didn't grab me right off the top. Okay. And I was listening to it. I think he got something going for himself, of course, like everybody. Like you said, if he got a hustle, that helped out a little bit in my thinking. Right, about right. If he got the hustle, he can get better. What he's doing. Okay. Now, first of all, just because you still us your music, don't mean we're going to be no cheerleaders. I don't have no pom-poms. I left my pom-poms at the pad. So I, I'm at the pad anyway, but I left my pom-poms in the house. So um, if you're expecting to get just automatic – Boo, 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 whatever the case may be. Wrong, wrong Facebook channel. Uh, it was cool for a youngster, okay? It was cool for a youngster. Um, the production was all right. I could um, I could have heard a little, little bit more bass. It was kind of typical. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I, pretty much. I need some. I, I'm always looking for something that it really stands out. You know, it was cool for today's time. It was, you know, he'll be, be a little a little neighborhood hero, mm -hmm. okay? Um, but again, because the, the the kid does have good timing, I give him I give him a a, a C plus for timing because he has does have the good rhythm for a youngster. Lyrics and they could use a little bit more something. Saying I don't know if I want to hear about the little boy being a G at nine ten years old. Yeah, that's, that's another thought too. Okay, I don't know if I want to hear about a nine year old G. Uh, how much of a G can you really be at nine years old? Well, about as much as what he was talking about, I guess. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right, now Glenn, um, we got all kind of folks online. I see Paul, David, that's good, uh, Latoria. Yeah, we got a nice little following on on Facebook Live. I thank everybody for taking time out to kick it with us. 
If you want to got a comment, shoot it to us. What you think about that song? That was rhythm, uh, was it uh, Baby Rhythm Mac? R rhythm Mac? Uh, Lil Rhythm Mac. Thank you, Tanisha. What you think about that? <laughs> I'm looking, I'm reading, I can read, I got a computer right here. I can read everything y'all saying over here. So if you got something to say, drop it in the chat. I got you. Okay. Huh? Questions. You got questions. You got questions, please. Uh, Alan Stevens, I hear potential, but sounds uh, a little dated. This could, um, this is coming from Big Al. Now, Big Al, y'all don't know Big Al. I know Big Al. Big Al is one of the coldest underground rappers I've ever met in a long time. Boy, that's same Big Al Big Al, back in the day, yeah. Yeah. That's Big That's Big, Big Al. Al. What's Big Al. Big yes, Al. sir. Big Al, get in touch with me. Big Al. Glenn Glass, okay. get in touch with me now. Yeah, Big Al, Big Al been around for a while. He's a, he's a great MC and a great host. Yes, he is. Okay? Yes, he is. Great personalities. And, and uh, when he said, he gave me a comment, I got to roll with it. Um, my man Paul Dozier says, need more vocabulary, production kind of simple. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, Paul. I mean, nothing wrong with it. it just it can live, leave, leave a little bit more. It's the uh, very beginning there, okay? Uh, please chime in. We got, we got a, uh, I got my man, Mega Hands, who's also a producer. He is sitting right here next to me. He's giving me all the feedback. And uh, uh, Trenisha Boyd says, it isn't grabbing my attention, okay? Uh, Paul Dozier said, can I submit a beat? Yeah, you can submit a beat. Send it to here's my music Lonzo at gmail.com. And if we got time, we're going to, we'll throw it on, we'll throw it in the mix right quick. Y'all, my vice president of audio technology, Ms. Shemika will be glad to put you in the mix folks. And me and Glenn going to kick it for a minute. Now we do this every Tuesday. This is our second day. Okay. Today is going a lot smoother than last week. Okay, last week was a hot mess, but we had to fight through it and we made it happen. But we can determine to keep coming back, and that's the difference. So, if you got an artist, a spoken word, I want to hear some spoken word. Mm -hmm. I want to hear, does anybody still make funk? Did funk get shot in a drive by? <laughs> did, 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 did funk, <laughs> is funk tied up in a trunk someplace? <laughs> in an alley with a pistol to his head, is dead to come out, because you would think that nobody got a guitar, nobody got a bass line, nobody got no, no horns. Uh, I'm a funky T, I'm a hip hop, I love hip hop, don't get me wrong. But I was raised on R&B and funk. And just for the heck of it, does anybody know anybody that still got a, something they can play or do something like that? What you, what you know about that, Glenn? <laughs> I was laughing because it's sad though, but a lot of schools now are starting to implement more uh, music into their curriculum. Okay. Which would help out with what you're talking about. You ever heard of some bitch do a piccolo solo? Come on now. Yeah. Where? Oh, at, at uh, a school by the, well, I'll give the name Kip. Look. Kip, Kip uh, Academy over there. Um, I, no, you know what? I, you're right. You're right. There is, because I know my son plays in the marching band at school. <laughs> and, but I need some, I, and, so I need some saxophones. I need some trumpets, some uh, trombones. I don't have much use for a clarinet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I, and clarinet and oboes don't really cut it in on 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 the funky tier thing. Like orchestra stuff. Now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's where your mind is with clarinets and yeah. The oboes. Yeah. And uh, Big Al just chimed in. He says, "Unfortunately, yes, I miss funk as well. Yes, we do, folks." If you a musician, if you out there making some funk and you ready to be heard by the rest of the world, chime in, send it to us. Here is my music, Lonzo at gmail.com. And I would love to hear what you're working with. Okay. I know I got another Bruno Mars or Morris Day or something out there. Well, they're out there. But again, there's no, they don't know a lot of places to send the music, but like you say, Lonzo, send them to you. They can yeah. also send it. If you send it to Lonzo, Lonzo will get it to me on what I do. I'm not trying to pub my thing up, but he can send it to me and I'll play it on my show. So right. we need to get it out there. It's, it's there. Right. Right. Lonzo, it's yeah. out there. I, I, I get these requests all the time. Check out my music. Check out my music. That's why I'm here today. Right. Okay. Yeah, I cannot listen to everybody's music because sometimes I'm in, I'm in traffic. Okay. I'm taking out an hour. Today we might be a, today we might be an hour. We might even be two if we get enough songs just to listen to music. And I tell anybody who got a CD or MP3, a YouTube channel for me to check out, 
send it to this particular email address. Here's my music, Lonzo. And we will do our best to get you on, get you in the mix. And right now, we're not charging the dime, okay? And, and folks don't understand that, Alonzo, that back in the day, I, well, you may hear this a lot of, from me and Alonzo, back in the day, you had records. Right. But the brothers were making records, Alonzo take because he had a club, and I was out there taking records around from, uh, for Warner Brothers to give them to the DJs. There was people out there giving you music 24-7. I mean, they wanted you to give music. Here's my music, here's my music. Now we have the internet, and Alonzo's like me, when I do, when I ask for music to be sent to me, Folks just drag behind. And I know there's more people out there that be, should be sending us music than what we're getting. And I wish you would take another look at yourself and send it to it. It's free. Okay. Send it to Alonzo. Alonzo will get it to me. I'll play it on my show. We, we're out here to help folks because we like the music anyway. We want to see some good funk out there. All right. I see you. I, I see somebody today. They're going to send us some songs right now. Mm. Uh, Tanisha Boyd, Pay Me Jones says she's going to send us something right now. And I got to turn my phone off because yeah. folks are calling me. <laughs> I forgot to turn my phone off. I, I, I'm ghetto. Anyway, um, there is a void, okay? And anytime I do a music seminar, and I do them all the time, I do them all the time, and I talk to artists about their careers and what they sh could and should not do. I don't tell you what you can't do. I don't tell you what you should do. I recommend, suggest. Uh, that you might want to look into a certain situation. And I tell anybody, why be in a lane that's already crowded? Okay? The, your, your career, mm -hmm. whether it be music, entertainment, law, why be in the lane? Look, think about a freeway. Why would you be in the freeway that everybody, uh, the same lane everybody is in, when over here, this lane is empty, okay? Right, that makes sense. If you step into a lane that's empty, your, your road to success goes a lot faster. So it's like if you're on the freeway and you get into a lane that cars is moving, you're going to get to your destination a lot faster. So by, what I'm saying is don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be afraid to be different, okay? Now, don't be so different to you, whack. Okay. Yeah, there is. There, there's, a, there's a line. That. There's yeah. a line. Okay. <laughs> don't be so different to you, whack. But don't be afraid to try to experiment and be be careful who you give your who you play your music for, because sometimes you play it for obvious hater. Okay. Now sometimes you can be flowing and the hater just taking your lyrics. Right. Okay. Yeah, just taking your taking biting your style. So be careful and sometimes. Don't be, here's where, here's where a balance comes in at. Don't be afraid to take suggestions, but don't be, don't be so, so flexible that you let somebody just remake your whole style. Now I know everything I just said sounds totally confusing, but you have to, you have to have your style, be true to your style, but be open for suggestions to improve your style. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes you, you'll get yourself, you're, you're already natural at what you're doing, and once you get on board and get signed or whatnot, then change comes again. People want to start changing your look. And it's very hard to stay true. And right. you can see that a lot of folks do, though. You can't. Don't, don't fall for the okie doke and have them change it. Because once they change you to be like somebody else, right. or like Alonzo's always said many times in his, in, in his workshop and seminar, uh, don't sound like somebody else. Because once you sound like somebody else, where are you going to go? Where are you going? Oh, big ass said, what's up, man? Okay, great. I, I got Get with here. me, though, bro. Glenn, Glenn Glass, hit me up on my uh, uh, message over on uh, Facebook. Okay. Hey, folks, we are here. You are live with Lonzo, the Godfather of West Coast Hip Hop. My man, Glenn Glass from Glass House Productions. Yo. Uh, he is a engineer extraordinaire. And uh, we still live. I, I don't know. Something. Yeah, we still live. You see the little button, but right side, red button. I had to reach up here. What's okay. I'm just making sure. Okay. I'm just making sure. I got five people live. We're going to we gonna get to 500 one day. You watch it. Gonna... Oh, it's already there, bro. We just okay. got to get that day Tuesday to Kevin. You got it already. Okay. Yeah. We are live right here, folks. We are live from Zotown Studios. Now, now some of y'all know, some of y'all don't know. Where we're sitting at right now, 30 some odd years ago, is the same room that Easy did his demos, the NWA did the rehearsal, Body and Soul. We're at my house in my studio. Zotown Studios. It's been renamed about four or five times. <laughs> but right now it's Zotown, okay? It was Lonzo Land Studios, now it's Zotown Studios. And we are just continuing the legacy of 
what we created back in the day. Now we some old dudes, we some old dudes. We still got ears. We still have an ear for talent, an ear for talent and an eye for talent. And my nonprofit, The Lyrical Revolution, is looking to create compilation albums to release for upcoming artists. Now, that right there within itself sounds like something that I used to do a long time ago, but some of, the, some of my best acts, some of the most popular acts that came out of my camp came through my compilation album. Mm -hmm. One of my people, one of my groups was Compton's Most Wanted on my first compilation album, the Compton Compilation, and they still doing their thing right to this day. They were the first hip hop group that I know of that had a crip and a blood in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, Shamika, what you got for me, darling? I'm looking for you. Shamika Brown. Technology, vice president in charge of technology. In charge, yeah. Yeah. I'm back. I'm back. I'm here. Okay. Okay. So um, next we have. Can you still see me on Zoom? Because I, I don't see myself. I, yes, uh -huh. I can see you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't see. Okay. Let me see here. Let me see what we got here. Let me go back. For, there you go. Okay. There we are. Oh, shit. And... Y'all forgive me. Y'all know I cuss. So. If y'all y'all thought I was gonna break out the Bible and start reading Psalms <laughs> in the wrong wrong channel, okay? I might say a little something, something. So, uh, okay. So, who we have? Make, Mr. Beckingham, I need you for a second, Doc. Who we got? Now, who we have now, Shamika? Um, we've got a female rapper by the name of forever and uh the name of this track is called bank tags okay let's, let's see what she got face tag face bank, tags okay no bank as in going to the bank bank oh, bank. Tags. bank tags bank okay tags. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's, what's the artist again now forever f-a dash e-v-a forever. forever all right let's see what she working with okay give me one moment This is a story about a magical place where everything's amazing. All right, take your time. See it, but they hate to see me winning. What's the word I'm looking for? Fuck your feelings. I keep pressing on them hit a spine. They keep checking on my timeline. Ain't no stressing on my dollar sign. Pull up and let the Bugatti shine. Staying in the war on it this time. I'm a general. I got stripes on mine. On my grind beyond your existence. Rookies stand at attention. Spell my name with a dash that I mention. I'm coming for them bags with a vengeance. Racks upon racks. Turn no vision, it ain't personal, it's all business. Bang bags, bang tags, post up, count racks, count racks, count racks, bang bags, bang tags, post up, count racks, count racks, count racks, count racks, count racks, count racks, bang bags, bang tags, post up, count racks, count racks, count racks. Keeps a tent on the back, all black. Pull up in the rows, wrist rows, what they looking at? Bands upon bands, bang that. Grands upon grands, bang that. Been in this game, far from a beginner. A pimp in this thing, what? Christian, forgive me, Lord. I know that I'm a sinner, but let me get these rats in the back of the sprinter. I'm born to hustle, train. Tamika. There you go. Okay, can you hear me? I heard it. I thought, thought we had two tracks one at the same time for a minute. We had a double up for a minute. That wasn't that was not bad. That was not bad. Baby got some flow. The track wasn't bad. Oh, it was pretty much danceable. Now, understand me. I'm kind of I'm kind of prejudiced, huh? Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of prejudiced. 
Mr. Mick, I hear you in the background. You got to turn, your, you got, you got to turn me off over there. Cause you messing me up big time. Me, Shamika, turn your turn your radio. I, and I see what Steve Harvey be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> turn yeah. your radio off. Put some headphones on or something, because I can't. You, I hear me in the background, and I'm throwing yeah. my throwing my rhythm off now. Right. Turn it off, because I can hear you in the background through these headphones. Let me take these headphones off for a second. Shit, now I'm feeding back. All right. Um, not a bad track. I enjoyed it. She got she got some nice flow. Um, I got some feedback. That's me. I was I was earlier feedback, and uh, the track was cool. Man. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I, I like that track there. Uh, but at the same time, when I'm listening to anybody's track, I'm also seeing what would they be doing on stage that particular right. thing they're doing. Right. But uh, she was better. That was better. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. It had a nice little rhythm to it. I didn't feel the, the kick ass in it though, you know? Well, you know, you said that for the first one and you're saying that about her, there's something that these two songs ain't adding in for any, I guess, street rhythm to it. Mm. Something's missing something with the street rhythm, that bottom or something. Well, first one, definitely the bottom. Right. But it's a slower song. I think you need bottom and all that now that you will put, put with the generation we're in now. You need to put that bottom in there, but maybe she'll try to take it another place. I don't know. Okay. All right. Where did we get this? I, I hear something in the back. I, hear something I think the back. that's your Facebook Live, Lonzo. Oh, ah, okay. That's, that's pulling him, yeah, because I have you be. on uh, mute over here. Maybe. Oh, there it was. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, now I can. That's why she's in charge. Thank you, uh, <laughs> Vice President in charge of audio <laughs> technology. You know what? I, I need to come I take. With me. I, 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 Listen, I need to come take a. a cool. You must drive me nuts. <laughs> I, I need to come take a <laughs> class from Glenn. <laughs> Yeah. See, and, she, and she hit me with the soft glove. I think it's your Facebook Live, man. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's how she's supposed to roll. That's why she's vice president. Okay. All right. Job security. Teach the boss night. <laughs> um, I, both songs were cool. And I think we need to have, it's, it's, it's like you just, just missing a little something. Something, something. something. That, something, something. Uh, just a little something, something that not taking it to the next level, okay? And that's why we're here. But I'm not here to hold your hand, be a cheerleader, my pom-poms are burnt up in the fire, and, but I'm, I'm not gonna hurt your feelings, because I'm not, I'm not uh, what's, what's the white boy name? Um, uh, the one be crushing people on American Idol. Oh, uh, the, the English guy. Yeah, the English uh, guy. I, I ain't gonna do that no more, he's moved on to other things. Right, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do I, like that. I, I can't think of his name, I know who he's talking about. Simon. Yes, yeah, Simon. I ain't gonna do like Simon because I still roll these streets. I ain't gonna roll for my ass by my damn, no damn phone, okay? But, <laughs> but, you, but you know what I, I, I like about what you, you're talking about? It's a process what they're doing. They send the music to us, we listen to it, we give them some comments, but at the same time, if they were in here personally, you could really ask them, why didn't you do this? Right. And why didn't you do that? Right. And get the reason, because there may be a good reason why they didn't do it, then you could have to sit back as a promoter or somebody's interested and say, hmm, right. go from there. Okay. But other than that, she was, I like that what she did. I, like I see my did. boy, uh, Eddie Goodman's in the house, y'all, from the Torture Chamber. Uh, I know you know I'm working with Stan Jones, too, Doc. Now, Stan Jones and Torture Chamber, they did a lot of stuff for everybody back in the day, in, in, in the early days of hip hop. And I got to give my boy a shout out because he's always, always a major uh, supporter when it comes to what we do over here in Zotown. Uh, Alan says he misses the G-Funk sound. But sounds good. Honestly, I don't know if uh, it will work in today's sound or today's demographic. You talking about the G funk? I think it would. I'm sorry. I, I think I, I think it would. I, I think if somebody was to bring back some real old school funk, with um, you know, again, it can't be all old school. It has to have. It, it's, it's a combination, and that's why the studio is called a lab. Okay, in the laboratory, you mix up different ingredients, and when you mix up different ingredients, depending on what you put in this particular mix, will get you something different. Okay, you mix nitro and you mix glycerin, some shit gonna blow up. Okay, well, long as what you're saying is something people are not telling the young folks out there today, right? Ain't nobody telling them. Everybody, that. everybody got this. A lot of people have the same. I can't, I, I gotta stop saying everybody. 
a lot of artists have the same basic ingredients, the hi hats, the same, the same right. flow, and you try to fit into what's already here, which is not a bad idea, but put your twist on it. And now you got another ingredient that takes it to another level. Right. And that's what I think a lot of people are missing is they, they, they tend to um, stay within the, uh, within the same exact pattern of what's hot. And I, knew, and I was signed to CBS. Uh, our executive producer told us to go to the studio. We had turned our album in. He told us to go to the studio and give, us another, give him a song that sounded like the hottest song on the radio at that time which was Jesse Johnson's Free World. And that's how you got to fly, mm -hmm. okay? And if you put the fly and, and Free World together, them some of bitches sound just alike. If they was doing what they did with Alan or, or Robin Thicke, I'd be in trouble. Because we, we um, what you call that? Essence his ass to death, okay? Mm -hmm. We stole the t entire essence, okay, of that particular song. And and also again, don't take criticism to being to tear you down. It's not like that. Right, right. It ain't it ain't about it ain't knocking about you down. Yeah. It's about giving you some you know, some added direction. Don't don't please if you're an artist and you ain't already balling out of control, it might be a reason why you not. So that's what we here is to help you put you on that direction. You know, nobody trying to hurt nobody's feelings. I don't don't roll up on me it's like you just must off. No, don't do that. Don't do that. It ain't that serious. But if we can help you and help, you know, because most people are going to break everything here is is, uh, is probably finished in, in their eyes. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. And uh, I'm going to tell you, like I tell folks all the time, no artist has ever made an ugly baby. Okay. <laughs> no mama has ever had an ugly baby. You could have a baby orangutan. It's and that baby, baby is beautiful to that that's, mama. That's right. So don't be mad at yourself if your first few songs were not what you thought they would pose to be. You, you thought they were the bomb, but that's your first creation. Trust me, I got some ugly babies too, okay? Artists, you, your first, whether you are a, a, a artist, a, a, a graphic artist, or you're a musical artist, your first projects probably won't be the bomb. But you're going to think they're the bomb because they're your projects. Right. And you have every right to feel that way. But as time progresses and you look back and what you did, and you're like, what was I thinking about? Just like when, you, when, when I had a jerry curl, mm -hmm. okay, I wonder, what was I thinking about? I th at that time, I thought I was cool as shit, okay? So jerry curls was what's happening, okay? Same thing now. Uh, tattoos is what's happening, and, and, and the colored hair is what's happening, and tight ass jeans. And you wonder why your nuts, you know, can't have no babies at, about 10 years from now because your nuts didn't got squeezed from your jeans. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can't give a fool a microphone. All right. Um, Vice President in charge of technical, uh, of audio. Audio, te audio technology, what do you have for me next? Oh, okay, oh, oh so I got a we, comment here. Uh, Alan said, we do need that 2020 funk. I ain't mad at you, Doc. And Tanisha says, uh, be unique and have confidence in, in, uh, in, your, in, in me shit, in my shit. Okay, maybe I'll say in your, in your shit. In, okay, I remember. That's when it comes through as a speaker. Uh, like, ooh, okay, I ain't mad. So, yeah. We're getting a lot of feedback. I appreciate all these this, this interaction, folks. Much love to all y'all. I see my, uh, I got more people online. I got more people on the, uh, on the Zoom channel. If you have any questions about the game, please ask me. We're here. We, we got time. Um, I got another probably 30 minutes before I need to go to the bathroom, so I'm good. <laughs> and, and you know what, Lonzo? This new technology we have with the internet and all, and thanks to our dear or oh, y'all's dear president, uh, he's on there. And, and it's telling, I think, artists now, you should look at that and say, that's how you get your feedback. Right. And if you can't take feedback and constructive criticism, this game is really not the one you want to be in. Right, right, right. Because you're going to get hurt. Right. Some of the artists you know, I'm not mentioning names, but you know some well-known artists, they didn't have breakdowns or whatnot, only because at one point in their life, they thought their music was going down the tubes and they couldn't handle it no more. Right. 
But it's and then now the next thing you know, they came back up. Why? Because right. something in them tell them I ain't gonna give up, or somebody more than likely, and I also know that somebody came and gave them an uplifting to say, you can do this. That's true. All right, folks. Uh vice president in charge of audio technology, what do you have for us next? <laughs> So we uh, received a track. Miss Brown, Miss guys... Brown. Uh-oh. Hold on. She got us over. She over there muted. She's over there. She's muted she's, everybody. She's muting everybody. She's muted everybody, including herself. She can't hear a word I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to get her some headphones. That's what we're going to do, get her some headphones. I heard that. that okay. That'll work out better. I actually do have headphones. Miss Brown, can you hear <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah, can you, you ready, hear darling? me? <laughs> can you when hear me? Hello? She'll say something to you. She'll say something. Uh, but, but now remember, Alonzo is, is down the road. I'm going to make sure he does this. We're going to do us a big, a big uh, a workshop again, like we used to do. I don't even know they call them workshops no more. What is what's the politically correct word now? Webinar. Okay, <laughs> webinar. We're going to do a webinar and still invite people to come and be in the audience and whatnot. I still want. I still love that personal kind of. Contact you know what? That, all, that right there is absolutely fine, man. The only problem is it's confined to the people in the room. Okay. And the knowledge that we can disseminate to uh, to our people that want to hear this stuff, this is a this is a worldwide situation, and that's why I love the internet so much and the webinar situation because we can have right now we can have up to a hundred people mm -hmm. be a part of this program right now, and they can be in any part of the world. But we can have an audience still over. Oh. And still have audience that participation plus that, but we can work. We're, we're going to work it out. Alonzo and I, we're going to work it out. We've been around, hanging around together. But what he said is very true, and I'm, I'm like, I'm taking that as criticism, constructive. But I'm going to work it out with him. We're going to do both. Okay, that's one we'll time. Make it that's just what we're going to. I see my boy looking around, looking around, just jumped in. What's up, Keith? I know you. I you, you probably can hear me. You probably can't see me. You can see me, but you can't. If you hear me, what's up, Keith? Me, him, me, me and my boy go way back. Keith, I need your number, man. Shoot me your number or something. I got. I, I need you for a minute. Oh, for real, for real. There's no bullshit. I was telling that Chris Tucker story one day, man. I need your verification. Nigga told me I was lying. We we'll get back. Anyway, in the in the meantime, Miss Brown, where you at, darling? Yeah, what up, y'all? I'm waiting for you. Mm, okay, she'll pop up. She'll pop up. You know, Miss Brown. I'm gonna have to give her a hand signal or something so she can know. <laughs> uh, so she can know uh, when we're ready for. Her. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and also, again, for artists, when you uh, we'll move right back to what we were talking about in the beginning again. Uh, another one of your, your 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 bad things that a lot of artists do is that they don't come with the okay. Let me say this: if you're a, if you're a group, mm -hmm. when you come a group and you come there to the, to the venue, and you come up to the engineer or to the stage manager, but most of the time they come to the engineer. Don't all of you come up to the engineer <laughs> group at one time? Don't do that. You got five cats want the same thing, right? That's right. Don't do that. One person represents everybody. They okay. come up and they do that. Okay. Well, she can say she's talking, but I can't hear her. That's you the can't problem. Hear? Oh. I can't hear her. Uh, maybe I got to turn it back up. I don't know. Shamika, are you there? I am. Okay. We had you turned down. Yeah, because when you turned your Facebook okay. Live down, you turned me down, too. Oh, okay. We we, we thought you were much asleep on That's why you no. <laughs> you got to pay attention to that chat over there. I confirmed it with him. Yeah, in charge of. Ah, so bear with us, folks. Bear with us. <laughs> We're trying to learn the ins and outs of this stuff. You know, it's taking. I saw you over there, and uh, I saw you. Okay, um, Paul Dozier. The email is. Here is my music, Lonzo at yep. gmail.com. Shamika, you got another song for us? Yeah, actually, Paul is who I was going to pull up next. I already received something from him. Okay. Um, so, you know, what we may have to do, we may have to put Shamika on a cord out of the mixer into the, in, the board. Out, of, out of the board into the mixer. Huh? Then you can hear that. From right, 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 right. Yeah, because you've got a delay there. Right. Okay, let's do it. Let's let's make it happen, baby.
Ms. Brown, who was that? That was Paul Dozier. Usher? Pa Paul Dozier. Paul Dozier. Oh, okay, Paul. Okay. Yeah, um, the name of that track was Jungle Tribe. Now, that was interesting because me and Glenn both sit back at the same time. And came you back did. On that <laughs> I like, did that. Just came <laughs> like, okay, that's a okay. Were you guys waiting for the beat to drop? Like the, the bass? I don't know. I was waiting on... I know I'm not the expert I waiting, here, but I, I, I was, was waiting, waiting for something to happen. I was I was kind of looking for uh for, for some lyrics, but once I realized that after about the 16th bar, there wasn't no lyrics coming. I I realized it was, it was instrumental. And yeah. It wasn't a bad track. No, you know, nice for meditation. Yeah, life meditation. Or can, poetry. Can, it was a yeah. spoken word. Spoken word. We spoken a spoken word artist can use that track very well. Mm -hmm. It was well produced. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, I, I was expecting, you know, I'm, I'm so used to hearing people giving us lyrics. Yeah, something in there. When I realized uh, there wasn't no music. Oh, okay, uh, this is this, 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 this. Oh, yeah, or boo, boo, something. Right, but it was cool, though. No, it was cool. It was, cool. It was very cool. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Feedback it. On, on the line over here, okay? Uh, something to cut up. I ain't mad at you, Paul. Much love. Sounds like a score of, for a movie or film. That's what, Al, that's what my boy uh, Alan Stevens said, Big Al. That's true, yeah. And uh, soundtrack. Um, uh, my, my boy says, Sounds like some 80s porn music. Boy, you ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't say that. I'm looking at it. This is my boy. Says, he said, It sounds like some yes, 80s porn. Did. Yes, they did. <laughs> okay, what's up, D Ross? Um, so yeah, folks, I liked it. I, I, um, Eddie didn't like it at all. Okay, he did, he was not feeling it at all, at all, at all. And uh, Paul, I'm glad you got a, a good sense of humor. That's what we're here for, folks. Because at some point in time, everybody ain't going to be a cheerleader. And everybody ain't got no pom-poms. I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, I like instrumental. Right, I do too. Love it. Okay. Jazz, I, I, I come from that jazz background. Right. I, I, knew what he, I know where he was going with it. You know, so um, we still rolling, folks. Yeah. Um, at Big Al got the best one. He said, sound like a, 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 a score from a, a, no, no, no. Who said that, that was uh that wasn't uh who said it sounded like some 80s porn music? <laughs> anyway, folks, that's yeah, uh, that was Eddie again. That was like some 80s porn music. I ain't mad, Eddie. Uh, uh, that's your opinion. Yeah. Okay, that was Eddie Goodman. Respect everybody's opinion. I'm gonna give you his email address so y'all can talk about it. Mm -hmm. Um we have a Mika is the poll up. Let me cut it back up a little bit. Yeah. Shamika is the poll up. I turned you back on. I don't hear you. <laughs> no, it's not up. Not yet. Okay. Give me one we second. Have, we have a, a a new idea. Well, not a new idea, but a little a, a poll that you can go to my website, lonzowilliams.com, and do what we call the slap it or dap it. Okay. Okay. We can, we have a poll for the slap or the dap. Mm -hmm. If you like what you hear, you dap. If you don't, you slap. Okay. So you can backhand it or pound pound it, okay? It's on you. I, I, I'm, this is for artist feedback, and that's what we do here, okay? That's what we do. That's what we do. So we, we do it all, folks. You're live with your boy Lonzo, the Godfather of West Coast Hip Hop. My man on my left side today is my man Glenn Glass from Glass House Productions. Yeah. We go back like Cracker Jackson Sandbox. Oh, too far. Okay. Uh, we almost back with Abraham Lincoln and Free the slaves. Yeah. You had the key. <laughs> Glenn had the key to the slaves. They I freed did. the slaves. Yeah. Have <laughs> the key, man. <laughs> That's exactly how far back I go. Man. Yeah. They said, hey, let it be free. So give, so give, give me the key. Yeah, that's right. And music goes back that far, too. Now, that's the, that's the thing. Music, music's been around for a long time. Okay. A long time. Now, you know something else? I want everybody to understand that uh, down the road, I know Alonzo's going to touch base on business, the real business side of the music. Once you got your music all set in your mind, once you got your songs all written down and you're out there performing, them, once you did all that and you're doing your concerts or whatnot, then you got to get down to the real business. The business you're doing right now, just getting started, I'd say you just preliminary. Right. The real business comes when you make sure you got everything tight. Right. Alonzo will talk more about that down the road, if not tonight or a little bit, but he can take you and got the folks that can make sure it gets tight because it, it, it's paperwork. There's paperwork now. Once you get it in your head and know what you got to do is one thing. And if you ain't got a manager, 
then you got to learn some paperwork on yourself. I say learn it anyway. Lazo said that too. Learn a little bit. I say, man, look, look here, look here. Let me explain something to you. When you are in any kind of business situation, learn every aspect of it. How you gonna know if you're getting fucked unless you know what it, where it's coming from? Okay. It took me a long time to figure it out because trust me, I was not always an astute businessman. Okay. I'm not going to tell you I was, I come out the box being Bill Gates or some super dude. Then it don't go like that in this game. I made some bad deals. I made some very bad deals. But in the same token, every bad situation is also a lesson. Okay. And as a grown man in the game, I feel it's my responsibility to share these lessons with some of those folks that want to learn. Now I can sit here and talk, talk to the cows come home. Everybody don't want to hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't want to hear what I got to say. That's cool. That's mm -hmm. cool. But if you want to hear what I got to say, we'll tell you. And still, it's up to you to implement it. Okay? Yeah. You can't say nobody was there for you. That's okay? Right. Somebody was there for me. Somebody was there for me as a young black man. And I'm the same way. I'm doing the same thing. I was told to pass it on. So I can't take it with me. I'm passing it on. If you want to know some of this game, I'll be more than glad to give it to you. Don't cost a dime to register. Be on this podcast. We're here every Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Every Tuesday at 7 o'clock. I'm going to have a different guest next week. I don't know who I'm going to have just yet. I'm going to have somebody else. And uh, But also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Lonzo Williams on YouTube. And we'll, all these videos will be up so you can hear You can see everything we got going on out here. And you can play it back, check it out. And plus, I have some other videos I do with other people about the music industry and life as we know it. So come on through, y'all. It's going to be a hell of a situation. And uh, we live here in Zotown, folks. You know, last time I was live, most people don't know I had a TV show. I used to have a television show. I remember you told me about I had a TV show in Compton called Issues in the Hood. And we were live every uh, Thursday from 6 to 7.30. I was on for an hour and a half. And uh, that was a public access show. I did 500 shows in Compton between 1998, 19, uh, 1999 and 2008. Did almost 500, 500 shows. And uh, for me, this new technology gives me a chance to bring that, bring that era back. Of course it does. Okay. You need to take advantage of it. I had a ball doing that show, and I'm doing it again. And I started off doing a show called Music in the Hood, but then we transitioned to Issues in the Hood, and it blew up. We talked about everything. We talked about sex, relationships. Uh, oh, that's why sex. Oh, right <laughs> sex, man. If we were talking about sex right now, we'd have a thousand people on this line right now. Uh, but, but you know something else, Alonzo? Uh, not to take deviate a little bit what you were saying, though. Technology has it also where if everyone out there, if you're not paying attention to Alonzo and other people around you, then go look at the movies that come out talking about the music industry. Because you may look at that and laugh and say, oh, that's crazy now. But that's exactly what's going down. There's people was backstabbing, brothers and sisters, all that. Especially the movies that Alonzo's been uh, involved with or his name has been involved with. Which one's the... Um, right now, I just got to... I, I've been getting a lot of... Uh, I didn't realize it was on the whole series from uh, uh, Death Row Chronicles. I'm in that. I'm in that. Uh, Dr. Dre's... Um, uh, bio, I mean, his documentary, uh, Defiant Ones, Welcome to Death Row, Streets to Compton, Michelet's story, uh, Surviving Compton. Ain't much about Compton or Compton people. I'm not involved in it. I'm just saying, though, no, that's the truth. And that's okay. what we're trying, he's trying to say. He gives out all that information that you see on all those he's mentioned. It's been enough to get you started, but he'll sit down with you and take you a little bit further. But it's up to you to take that step. He can't make you do anything. And I, I see so many artists, and you saw it when we were doing the showcases at the uh, club. So many of them get up on that on there and don't have nothing written down paper wise to cover themselves at all. Now, now you know, you know what? Also, what I heard also being well, I'm, I don't mean that. What I mean to say is, this dude right here, okay? Now he old. I'm old, okay? But there used to be a showcase in Hollywood called the Hollywood. What was it called? In the show, oh, ASCAP showcase. This is ASCAP, ASCAP showcase. showcase. It was at Club Hollywood. Okay, out of that showcase, who came out that showcase, man? 
Oh man, just about every rapper you got out of here now that can't do that. Dub C. All of them. Okay. Everybody. Everybody. When they weren't nobody back then. Nobody. Now, I between mean, there and World on Wheels, they weren't nowhere. Right. Glenn, uh, Glenn also was oh, the, the man in World on, on Wheels. Wheels yeah. Okay. Yeah. The world class wrecking crew was just puppies. We yeah. was just puppies. LA Dream Team, we all, all were just glad to be. D, all of them. When they they, they hit K Day, and from K Day, they went to World on Wheels. From World on Wheels, they had to pick them up and, if they were on the ASCAP label side. And we did stuff down there with every last one of them artists that you see now that are it's out there. Okay. Dre, all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Snoop, all of them. So you looking at you looking at a lot of history, folks. I mean, and sometimes and sometimes people don't really pay history no attention, but history will repeat itself if you if, if, well if, in a good way if you pay attention to it. In a bad way if you don't. Okay, you'll take you'll make the same mistake somebody else did if you didn't follow their history. Okay, but also if you know a history of somebody else, you can you can win. Okay, That's I true. tell people all the time, my history, my influences for Eve After Dark was Don Cornelius. Mm -hmm. My 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 record label was James Brown. James Brown was one of the first artists that owned his own record label. If you saw the James Brown story, he owned James Brown Records. Okay, mm -hmm. Don Cornelius owned uh, Soul Train. Uh, cool Herc was one of the main guys that, uh, that, that discovered hip, uh, brought hip hop to the forefront out of the Bronx, New York. So when you got guys like that, that kind of you watching them, and one guy that I watched that nobody knows, I, I, I bring his name up, the dude don't know why I exist, was 97 from Total Experience. Right, right. He had the Gap Band and the Total Experience, okay? And I thought he was the coolest dude. Well, I never met never met the man before. Wouldn't know him before. I, I wouldn't know him now. It's been so long. But when I saw him got his Rolls Royce mm -hmm. and walking to his club, and they played his music on the, in in his club, man, I was blown away. That so black I man can do it. Why can't I do it? I okay. can't do that. Yeah. I, why can't I do it? So there's no reason you can't do it. No reason why. But you, but you see somebody do stuff, it gives you the motivation, inspiration to try and emulate it. Okay, especially if they make it look easy. Every Michael Jordan got every kid in the world with a good basketball player because he made it look easy. Tiger Woods got my black yeah, ass playing yeah. golf because right. he make it look easy. I still ain't got the ball to go straight yet, but still, it was inspired. So you know, you, you take this old ass this old ass experience here and utilize it to your advantage. You might have a chance of winning. Miss Brown, what you got for us? Okay, Frederick Hattrick, what's ha, ha, Hackett? What's up, Doc? I see you out there. I've been watching you on Facebook doing them push-ups at the gym, whatever. I see you. I see you. I'm going to have to holler at you when I get off the air, though, Doc. Yeah, we're going we gonna to connect. And uh, I just got a shout-out from my boy, Cecil Rambo. He's now the uh, the chief of police at the LAX, at the LAX uh, the, uh, Police Department. Wow. One of my OG boys from Issues in the Hood. Chief of police? At the, oh, at the, at the, at the uh, LA, LAX. That's yeah. another that's a big responsibility. Man. He used to be he used to be in charge of the sheriff department. He was he was one of the uh, main men in Compton. That's how we met. Then he went to work for the big sheriff with, with down there with Baca. Then he was a city manager of uh, of Compton. Now he's at LAX. Man, goddamn, oh, that boy got a that boy got a career. Yeah, he got a portfolio for following him too. He got one. He got a career. Okay, hey, so, uh, Miss Brown, what we got for us? What's our next song, darling? All right, can you hear me? Lonzo, can you hear me? Hello. Uh -huh. I hear you. Okay. Um, we've got, this is Bala Almighty, Better Days. Okay. Kato, you way too dope, kid. <laughs> I dream of better days. Doctor, so why I take my bros away? They left me hanging in these streets, don't know what road to take. It's quite locked up in themselves, ain't got no home in day. Hoping God come in my life to take this pain away. I dream of better days. I dream of better days. Life 
you hard when you in them shells, just know I felt it too. When you realize all that time they trying to offer you, praying when them gates open, they was calling you. I know the pain of a youngin watching his mama cry. I done paid on them late calls saying your boys just die. Life don't get easy, grandma sick and they can't tell us why. I've been to court for my brother, I know who testified. I wear this pain on my shoulders, can't seem to take it off. Long live Calhoun and Lady Squally, we just took a loss. It's hard to vent, cause when you do, they start to think you soft. So many times I said fuck life and all this pain and cost. I dream of better days, that's why I gotta take my bros away. They left me hanging in these streets, don't know what wrong to take. It's quite locked up in themselves, ain't got no home and date. Hoping God come in my life to take this pain away. I dream of better days, I dream of better days. Thank you, darling. DJ Shamika, the vice president in charge of audio technology here at Zotown Studios and this broadcast. What was the name of that one? What was that called, Shamika? That was Better Days. I think she got herself muted. Oh. Thank you, so. <laughs> that was Better Days. Better Day? Yeah. All right, better day. Who's, who, who's the artist, Jamaica? Ball Almighty. Ball who? Ball Almighty. Ball Almighty? Yes. Okay. Ball Almighty, before I get, get in, I'm, I got to give a shout out to my boy Grover out of Groove Time. What's up, Grover Wimley? And my beautiful ex co host, Sean Quinta. Look mm. you. All right, people still trying. I love this. this uh, yeah, you it. Get it. Five would be. I told you five hundred already. Uh huh. Five hundred already there. Okay. Hundred's going, going to be in a minute, real quick. Next week, if not this week. He came out the box hot, but fizzled out. Ah, Tanisha. All right. Uh, that song. Mm. Hmm. That song didn't. I that, believe that song, so. Yeah. It, it was some feeling missing to me. Uh. Where is the Sandman when you need him? Okay, that's cozy. <laughs> he says, slap it. Okay, he says, slap it. <laughs> What's up, Alaric? What's up, Sean Q? Um, I was hoping for a little bit more out of that one. I, I, I felt the potential, but it, it never grabbed me. Well, as I'm saying, it wasn't feeling, it wasn't no, it, it was, the words and all were good, but the feeling is, it, I think some folks don't understand it's like playing an instrument versus sampling something. You can play something on an instrument, you gotta put feeling into it. Glenn, you just hit you hit it on the nose. You hit it on the nose. You hit it on the nose. And I think that's one of those things, I gotta turn this down for a second. I think it's one that's one of the things that people confuse. They confuse music with sound. Mm. Okay, I'll go with you on that one. Too. Okay. Yeah. You can you can emulate the sound, but you can't emulate the feel. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can emulate the sound, but you can't emulate the feel. The feel of a good song, you hear it in the artist's voice, you hear mm -hmm. it in the musicianship. And it's just certain things that a human adds to uh, an instrument that a computer cannot emulate. It can give you the tone, to give you the keys, give you all the sound, but you can't, it's like artificial insemination. You can't reproduce the pump. Yeah, yeah. You That's can't true. reproduce it. I agree with you 100%. It's on real that. hard. Huh? Now, if you take the elements and do some cyber stuff, drum machine with a bass player, a guitar player, you might be able to, you know, give the illusion, give a nice little cloned version of that. That song right there, it had good potential. I hear what he was saying. It just, I never got to the hook. The hook didn't the hook didn't do nothing for me. And it would have been a much better song if he'd had a girl, or somebody singing the hook. Yeah, yeah, I was okay. on that one too, right. Uh, you know, and I know a lot of people in the studio, the budgets be tight, you know, you can't find a good singer when you need one. But um, that was just, that was my opinion. It was what? mine too, it was mine too. Okay. I like the words though. Okay, I did like what, the words. what we got on the side over here? Uh, that's today's sound. That's from that's from Big Al. Uh, sounds like Kevin Gate. Ke sounds Kevin Gate. My boy Alaric says that. 
Uh, Tanisha said, slap it. Okay. Uh, Michael Holmes, so, so that's today's sound. I think that's the question. Um, uh, that's the, that's, what you say, Sean? That's a Puffin Chief vibe or played in the strip, played in the Magic City. It's here, but a certain sounds overpowered the feelings of the song. I get you on that. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, point. good point. I get that. Okay. And uh, somebody else says, uh, definitely grimy, uh, grimy for after a funeral. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but Michael Holmes says, Zo, that's today's sound for show. Okay. Mm -hmm. We all right, we getting some feedback. That's what I'm talking about, folks. I appreciate all the feedback. This is going to the artists. I'm I'm reading this for the artists. So if the artist is still tuned in, you getting what the public say. Then I'm just I'm just a messenger. Don't fuck with the messenger, okay? <laughs> I'm just a messenger. We fucking with me and maybe no, 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 no. I'm just a messenger. And and but we got some decent stuff. It hasn't been bad today. No, no, okay? ain't nothing. No. I need something that's gonna stand out. I, I want the chat room to light up. I want the chat room to light up with a, with a hit. We ain't got nobody got that chat. They slapping the shit out of people today, bro. That's the way they it is. slapping the shit out of. They're the ones that's a buyers. Okay, they're the, buyers. they're the ones that would be the be the people. If I'm if I'm playing the program director today, okay. Uh, Shamika is the vice president in charge of audio technology. <laughs> Glenn is a consultant, and we're trying to program a, a, a compilation album. And in order to do that, we got to have some solid music that we can feel. Now, we here searching, we fishing, we out of, we fishing on the internet. If you got something, shoot it to here is my music, Lonzo at gmail.com. Shamika's on the other end. She's in a remote hideaway spot, only with her and a computer. So nobody knows where she, where she is. So she can, you can't get mad at her if she don't play your music. So. That's what we had. To, we had to put in a secluded, a secluded building. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, bro. <laughs> He's right, though. I don't know where she's at either. All right, we got we got another one here, uh, Malika. Oh, we we getting hit up on another side. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need some help in a minute here. I can't read all of them. <laughs> you gonna get a bit a bigger boat, bro? I um, get a bigger screen there. Hey, how's your weekend? Oh, that's uh, that's something else. Oh, something else. Uh okay. I just released a single. I hope you're doing well. My week was <coughs> insane, but it's all about the best. Hey, I wanted to reach out because I asked you a small favor. Reached a single seven years ago. It was seven years bees. Uh has a strong message and deeply was personal to me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to spread the word. I wanted to get uh 25 influential influential people that have, uh, have motivated or inspired me over the, my life. That's a long one. Wow, maybe, maybe it's a long one right here. She got a video. You need to send the video to Shamika or the music to Shamika at Here's My Music, Lonzo, at Gmail, because I she's handles all the music. What's up, Kipper Jones from Tease? Um, Shamika handles all the music, darling. Uh, that's Cody Park. Cody, send it to Shamika at here's my music, Lonzo at gmail.com, and we're gonna see what we can do for you, darling. We lined up here, folks. We've been on the air now for an hour and 25 minutes, and I'm having a ball, y'all. I'm having a ball. I enjoy what I'm doing. Y'all, anybody know me know I get a kick out of this kind of shit. So now, now remember what Lonzo was saying. All this you're getting from these other folks that's, that's chiming in right now. We're telling you this is what you need to hear I got from it. other folks that are buying. You don't need to go up and Lonzo and I have seen it and some of you out there too. We don't you don't need a lot of yes people around. You need people around you who's gonna tell you, no, that don't sound good here, don't sound good there. Of course, you got the last say so, but you right. need to hear other sides. So if your side don't work or whatever you're doing don't work, you know that you need to go back and try something else. Exactly. Okay. So uh, I recommend it to anybody, you know, if you're trying to do this game, you know, let some people that don't know you hear yourself first. Don't play it for your people because they're going to try and pump you up. They want free tickets to your concert. Right. Okay. Don't. No, 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 no. That's people, you know, and play it. Don't tell them it's you. 
don't tell them it's you. Just, you know, check this out. You think we're just right here, okay? If they think it, they realize it's you and it's good, cool. If they don't like it, figure out why. And ask them about it. Hey, man, what you think? Why do you want, why you, what's wrong with that song right there? Ah, man, they're going to tell you because they don't, you know, people don't like being put on the spot. Now, some people just assholes. They, they'll break your heart. If you, if you get Prince, they'll break your heart. Yeah, just because. You can bring them on the door or, uh, or a hell of a song, and they'll break your heart just because they're assholes. But find people that don't know you to support you because you get a more organic and a more genuine feel for what you're doing, okay? Keep it real, y'all. Keep it real. That's what I do. And that's you what we're doing the, here, you yeah. Want, don't want the 100, don't call Lonzo. Yeah. Shamika Brown. Vice President in charge of technology, audio technology. What you got for us next? Hello. Okay, so next we have submitted by Michael Netherly. Um, it just says Dramatics uh, Rockbox. Okay. Produced by Dallas Now What? Okay. So hopefully we've got that correct. Again, tagging and the correct information is so super important, people. And here we go. I lost my uh, Facebook. Yeah, what up, y'all? Ryan Rock Entertainment. What's happening? Hey, hey. Fathers of hip hop. Hey, hey, entertainment. Hey, hey. Always been family. Somebody tell me something at the end of the day. Good or bad. They always got something to say. I heard you talk, I heard you bark, I even heard you roar. You were talking to somebody else, so what I'm responding for? What? That he say, she say, man, ain't that G way coming from the shoulders, dumping boulders, man. Games that we play, damn right the world is mine. Hell yeah, I cry. Say deuces to excuse me, don't die out this whole damn time. What? Now you know. All right. Mm. That's rock box, right? Yes. All right. Let me, let me see what the what the chat room got to say. All right, here we go. All right, thank you, Ms. Brown. Let's see. Let's see what the chat room got to say, folks. I got, I got a, uh, I got Miss Q say, she don't know what to say. Okay, <laughs> she gave me an emoji like she confused. Okay. Uh, what's up, Sure Will, and uh, Eddie sure Goodman. Will. You said Sure Will. Sure Will. I'm looking at oh, him right now. Okay. Well, hey, bro. What's up, man? Uh, Eddie Goodman, he got all kind of fingers and shit going on. He just, he on, he, y'all didn't hurry up and make this man, give him something he can work with. He ain't feeling it at all today, okay? He might need some Metamucil, okay? All right. <laughs> yeah. I got you. <laughs> he, 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 he on one today. Y'all ain't tickled his family at all. And he's, he is a music producer, so that's your problem right there. You got a lot of people on this line. You got Sherwell, Eddie Goodman, uh, Alaric, all these people I know for a fact are music producers and they're artists. So you are up, you you got an audience that's not just a buying artist. This is the production audience that they got real ears. And um, you know, if they ain't feeling it, they gonna let you know. And if they hear something that strikes them, trust me, they're going to touch with Lonzo right away. Yes. Um, I see uh, little John in the house. He didn't give me no. Eddie say slap the shit out of it. Okay, Eddie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Eddie got four five. He got four five um, uh, uh, um, comments. He he at home. He's like he got us on his lap. Like this this here is fun for him. He having the ball. 
Uh, all right. We still got a little time, folks. We still got a little time. Now, now one of the brothers on this, on this, on this chat room right now is Kipper Jones. Kipper Jones and I go back to Guardian High School days, and he was in a group called Tease. Mm, I remember that. Okay. Yeah. Tease was the, one of the hot groups out of the Guardian area, the LA Guardian area back in the day. And we ended up on tour together back in the day. Mm -hmm. And I was so glad to see these brothers in New Mexico. We was in New Mexico with nobody out there but us. Okay? Wow. We in New Mexico, and there we was with Tip, Kipper and opening for Morris Day at a time. And boy, we for us, that was like, oh my God. We opened up. We were the opening act, World Class Wrecking Crew, T, somebody else, and Morris Day at a time was the, was the headliners. Mm. And um, Morris had this thing, man, that you couldn't be back. You had to either be in your dressing room or go out front, you couldn't be backstage. When he was out there. But he was performing. Yeah. I'm like, I'm a grown ass man, what the fuck you mean I can't, I can't be in the, I got to be in my dressing room or go out front, okay? And as soon as he went on stage, we sat in the dressing room for a minute. As soon as he went on stage, we cooked, took our asses out there and started watching the show from the sideline. Next day we was off the goddamn show. <laughs> See? You learned something. They kicked didn't you? ass off the goddamn tour. You, 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 you learned that the featured artists got all that kind of clout. Yeah. See, <laughs> I learned a few things that night. I can't tell you what else I learned that night why I got kicked off the goddamn tour. But I'll tell you one day when we talk about this. When okay? you get out there, bro, you, all of you, when you make it, uh, well, some folks make it. It has some crazy restrictions and regulations. All right. Now, I'm, I, I got some folks here. Sean they breaking up the song on. And Eddie said he's going to be signing. He don't give a uh, he, 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 you know, he, he said he fresh out of fucks, okay? He called out of them. So, all right. I like that last song, though, bro. It wasn't bad. I, I like it. I Ms. like that one. Ms. Brown, I'm VP. Something, but I like it. VP of te Audio Technology, what you got next for us? I got slapped a lot. You said. Oh, they slapped shit out of you. Oh. <laughs> Slap shit out of you. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. We have, um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so we have a song submitted by Cedric Hackett. Um, okay. The artist is Jay Black, and the song is called My Brother. All right. This is from a real home. Yes, yes. Slim, Jermaine. Not a lot. <laughs> push to push you. You know what I'm saying? Jay Black. Maury. Maury. Yeah. Oh, they don't find homies. Those are my real nuts. My brother. Red line. Fish in the back. Red line. Red line. Red line. Red line. Red I flew it back to the motherland. Black king in America. Don't compare me to no other breathing man. K Lie had to get the ghost right. Answer from Chancellor Dad. When the chaps is bad, I laugh at it. My winter papers win a new name. But when I say this, Daddy said, I'ma be the greatest. To say this on pages. To take the rage away. Make another life smile while saying grace. So I stay on pace. Reflecting how change did come. The flame did run its course. But like the sun, eternal rain, it caught us by surprise. I'm a replica, and this time I rise. I'm this guy, my riddles are this fly. So sit tight, don't ask no questions or miss why. My narrows are this wide. Yeah. I'm a pharaoh that lifts lives. I stand next to my brother, and even though we come from another mother, you still my brother. I got you covered, there'll never be another brother like me, the type of G to keep it on the cover. next to my brother, and even though we come from another mother, you still my brother. I got you covered, there'll never be another brother like me, the type of G to keep it on the cover. Keep pushing for miles, cushion pushing got style. I ain't looking for doubt, I just push it out, yeah. You're gonna wanna be my brother, a brother from another mother, we're undercover. We can take you through the summer You're throwing up bricks I'm splitting lumber So what's your number? I got that thunder Wake you up from the slumber It's a mission you can sink your teeth in Just like chocolate And they can't stop it The cushion just rocks it They all out of pocket The push it just drops it Blast off like a rocket And you're gonna mock it Cause this is that hot shit Just don't call the cops Cause I'm so vigilante I'm rolling from out Just from here to Miami This pharaoh has landed And I'm up in the ante I stand next to my brother And even though you come from another mother You still my brother I got you covered There'll never be another brother Like me, the type of G to keep it on I stand next to my brother And even though we come from another mother You still my brother I got you covered There'll never be another brother Like me, the type of G Keep it on the cover. 
Brown, Miss Brown. Thank you very much. That was a good song. I mean, to, to me, that was a good song. Yeah, I was over here. Only me. problem I found with that song was, why are you waiting so long to bring the girl in? Homeboy must have rapped for 45 bars yeah, before he right, right, yeah. The track was banging. He got good style. His right. brother sounded like it gave me a feel of Tupac, OK? He had a real aggressive sound. The, the beat was banging. But the only problem with a song like that is you don't give yourself a break long enough to people to, to learn to sing the song. And the hook come in, the girl come in the last part of the song. Yeah, it should have been earlier on. She should have been, she should have been on a lot earlier. Yeah. Um, this, I, I, the song was good. Beat was banging. Beat was banging. The, the, the rapper got he got he got mad flows. He got mad flows. He got a good voice. Like I said before, he gave me the sound, gave me the feel of a Tupac type cat. Cause I could feel his emotion. But you rap for you didn't give yourself a break, Doc. And understand this: what makes a song sellable uh, and a hit record in a lot of cases is that people can sing it. Mm. Other people can sing the song, okay? Can't nobody sing that song but you. you somebody have to study that song to be able to sing it, okay? Good lyrics, break that shit up into maybe 16 bars, 32, whatever you have, whatever you feel comfortable with, but you went on, I mean, the, tr the track came out banging. I was feeling it from the first beat and the whole vibe was working it's just that I'm waiting for you to take a breath and let somebody else do something for a minute. And then come. Yeah, come back. Yeah. Okay. Come back again. You know, take a break, Doc. You know, you, 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 it's your record. Do your thing, take a break, and come back again with a, with a vengeance. Okay. And that right there would have made that a much better song for me. I, I was I was cool with it. Let's see what the chat room has to say today. Mm -hmm. I started moving over there. Hey, a lot of folks chatting. Okay. Uh, all right, here we go. Let me see here. Uh, let's see what um, Simon Eddie got to say today. Okay, sounds like he traveled in a time machine in in the nineties and and reject to uh, reject Tupac. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, come on. I, I liked it, though. Sean says all these cats are still out to lunch with their lunch trays, try, talking over the intros. Hold on. Somebody made a jump down. Hold on. Somebody made a jump down. Uh, too much commotion, okay? All right. Cedric, see, you appreciate the, inf the, inf the, input, the input, uh, input from us, okay? Uh... Yeah, and Sean says, I'm not studying no song. And, and that's the only problem, Doc. The, the song is a good song, but you don't have a hook. You, you All lyrics and no hook, okay? All lyrics and no hook. Even if people don't know the song, they're going to learn the hook. Give them something to, give them, that's what they call it, the hook. Give them something to hook them in, okay? Alaric, it was cool, but the singing at the end lost me. First rapper cool, second rap, second rapper, second sound like uh young Humpty. Hook wasn't uh was wasn't uh wasn't uh, was not defined, needs a better arrangement, great potential. I agree with you. I totally agree with you. I ain't gonna uh slap it, but I'm gonna give it a little finger. I can't <laughs> dap it, I'm gonna give it a little something else. Something, something. Okay. That's, that's the same thing I say about that song. Same thing you say. I, it, it wasn't a bad song at all. It was not a horrible song at all. It's just that it, it needs a better arrangement, okay? Be quiet for about four or five bars, okay? Come in, banging, get the, let the hook do what it do, and then come back again, bang some more, and then let the hook do what it do, and let the, let the singer come in much, early, much earlier and let her do what she does, okay? I believe, Alonzo, sometimes, you know, we, we, we like you said, be unique. But there's still some basics that you have to follow okay. until you get your money out there. And once you start making money, then you can make them like yeah, the, right. any kind of way anyway, you want to. Do like Kanye West. Do like Lil Wayne. Yeah, potato, potato, potato. Yeah, I mean, if you look at Prince and all. If you look at Prince is a good example. He made all kind of songs after he got out there and made his money that didn't right. even fit the format of basics. But he, he could do that then. And it, it worked for him. Cedric uh, Hackett is a brother that submitted this song. He says, for us, Glenn, this is the feedback. 
this is the best feedback I could have gotten. Okay, much love. That's what that's what we're here for, man. Oh, yeah, well, we're not cheerleaders. We just, you know, we just, you know, we're not cheerleaders and ego feeders. We just drop it the way we feel. Cause if we don't tell you all other about all, all the other folks, they just gonna tell you, nope. Okay, they ain't gonna tell you nothing. They just ain't gonna mess with you. Okay, Sean said, um, Right, uh, right. Some people go to church to hear the choir, and some go to hear the bishop. Same goes, same goes for music. Some people go to hear the choir, some go to hear the, hear, hear the pastor. Much love, Sean. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Some people just go. <laughs> oh, now see, y'all in trouble now. My boy Ralph Hawkins and jumped on, uh, jumped on the line. Okay, now Ralph is a real producer. I mean, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No disrespect to anybody. But Ralph works with New Edition, Johnny Gill, uh, Johnny Gill. He is a master musician, one of my partners. Happy belated birthday again, Doc. And he works with everybody, okay? He works with everybody, for real, for real. In fact, if you ever listen to uh, Steve Harvey in the morning, my man is the same brother that does uh, the J. Anthony Brown um, get down in the morning for J. Anthony Brown. So... Mm -hmm. We got some real players on the line today, folks. We got some real folks on the line. And y'all, I tell y'all, I know people. Y'all think I be bullshitting, okay? Y'all think I be bullshitting. I, I got some serious friends in this game. And I'm glad all of them have chimed in, chimed in tonight. Um, who else we got here? Um, trying to get back on. I can't figure out. I keep this, this my, my, uh, my chat room keep disappearing on me. Uh, I'm new to this Facebook Live thing. So, oh yeah, you did do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna drop the chat room. Where we at? Where we at? Click I got, I got you over here. The chat room? No, online. I got you live. I'm, I'm still on. I'm still live. I don't know about just, this internet. I, I'm still trying to figure it I out. I lost my chat room, people. Let's go back. We growing. We growing. People are time, sh timing in, Doc. But uh, where my chat room go? I have lost it. Found it and lost it again, but uh, and the beat goes on, no longer. The beat gonna go on, yeah, beat goes okay. On. Beat gonna keep on cracking. Uh, Miss Brown, Miss Brown, what what you got for us, darling? Miss Brown, where you at? Okay, here we go. We back on Zoom again. All right, we back. It's hi, yeah. hi, hi. All right, we got two more tracks and then we're going to shut it down. Okay. Um, let's see here. So, finally got Miss, uh, I hope I'm saying her name right, Miss Nichella. Uh, Tanisha. Tanisha, excuse me. Tanisha Boyd. Yeah. I know. Yes, she had been trying to submit a song. Um, so, we finally got it up. It's called Pay Me by Viral. Okay. Uh, produced by Flex. Flex is dead. I hope I'm saying okay. that right. Flex. Okay. But um, coming from SoundCloud. So we're going to check them out. I was barely breathing. We was raised as heathens. Because we ain't had no one to look up to or to believe in. Y'all can't believe I'm speaking on the shit I'm going through. Because you like to flex in your video so bitches know the shit. But when we see you in person, nobody knows it's you. So we got a question of all the stories you sold is true. The game was told to who? The game ain't told. The game is so, my game ain't old, my chain ain't cold, my flames ain't cold, my game stays solid, my squad cap won't. We asking y'all, what's in your wallet? Sparkle in the blunt, got the smoke, looking like violets. Choppers in the trunk in case a nigga wanna get violent. Till then, I'm sitting in silence with my chick right beside me. She keep a Nina in her purse, I just call that my side piece. Right on my side, I end up with an IV. My guys on my side, the four niggas, that's an IV. And I realize these bitches poison like Ivy. I've been waiting for a pussy nigga to try me. I'm going viral. I'm going viral. I'm going viral. I'm going viral. 
is pay me, but don't pay me in payments. If you ain't about the money, we gon' notice you faking. Taking over the summer, shit, we've been ready since May 5th of last year. I've been drinking since my last beer was my last beer. I hate niggas that get stuck inside of they past year. They just talk about money and hoes they don't have here. It's sad, cause the truth is the main thing that they ask here. And I've been feeling like the truth to tell the truth. Tinted windows on this cool, make it darker than in the booth. That I'm rapping in, and y'all still selling fives out the houses that you're trapping in. My niggas hit the block, then we tapping in. We hit the club, we pack it in. If he acting out, we pack him out. As far as getting money, I need mass amounts. It's never too much cash account. If I can't get a nine to five, then that mask is out. And then I'm blacking out. But if somebody got their camera out. All right, all right, Miss Brown, Miss Brown. I'm going viral. You could ask the hook. Okay, I'm going viral. I like that song. Now, that, huh? You did. I did. I did because that's 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 a true hip hop song. That remind me of Rock Kim. That reminded me of uh, some of the old school stuff like Diggable Planets. Okay, he had a groove. He rocked his groove, and he dropped his hook. I'm going viral. Yeah, okay. I didn't hear that. Yeah. They had that. I'm going viral. Okay. Now he, he 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 now what he did and what the other artist did we told the breakup, it was a different type of song. Correct. So you, it's it's his was a more of a more of a more of a backpack. We call them the backpack rappers mm -hmm. that have the, the long verses and they don't have a musical hook per se. So his song required him to do his at that way because it's more it's more of a lyrical song than it is a dance song okay it's one of the things songs you is you go to the to the um to what, what, what was that one exposition in crenshaw um you know good life you that's, that's a good life song oh, okay? Yeah, okay that's a good life song okay i got caught up in between being good like you're saying but also in the spoken word i was okay. kind of like i it was good. I liked it, but I don't. I don't know where I would put it in my mind because I was tossing back and forth. Because right. a lot of times the lyrics would lead me to say that's a good spoken word kind of thing. Well, see that that, that yeah. that's that's the backpack type rapper. The same guys. Um, uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, ah, everyday people. But you know. Uh, oh, speech, uh, uh, rest of development. Rest of, uh, rest of development. They come from that. It comes from that same. That's right. They come from there that same. Go. There type of go. situation where they can they can rap for 32 bars right and they drop you a hook but because they got a story to tell right okay right, right. That's they got a story that. to yeah. tell yeah. okay so the, sto the story can justify them going that long and because he, my man he, he 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 gave the music a chance to do his thing and he brought his hook in he took his time going viral right. okay that was the whole story i'm right. going viral yeah. all right yeah. let's see what the chat room has for us here. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, what we got? What we got? What we got? Let me start here. Um, none of these guys would uh, get a deal in 2019. Y'all laughed. Uh, Y'all get laughed out of the building. That's that's my man Eddie Goodman Cozy from the Torture Chamber. His address is. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, let me see. Sean says. Uh, Yes, still be, just take your time, okay? Uh, sure Will says, punch the O and the I's. And my, I think you're talking to me. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> Might be talking to me, okay? Um, uh, we can't punch nothing, we live. Right. <laughs> uh, and Tanisha, Tanisha says, uh, yeah, you do, whatever that means. Sean gave us some hand claps. She wouldn't cry. She, she gave it the clap. I mean, uh, she gave us some applause. Okay. That means she gave it a slap. I mean, a dap. I'm sorry. I missed the record. Uh, let me see here. Kipper says, I missed the record, but I just sent you something to check out. Okay, man. Much love. 
Um, Eddie came back again and said, listen to the radio. If your shit don't sound better than that, then you're not in the ballpark, sorry. <laughs> that boy Cole with it, ain't he? He been, taking, he been drinking that Simon over there. Uh, Sean says DJ Brown came through. Okay. Um, Eddie say fire the A&R. Damn. Oh, man. Uh, Sean says to Lupe, uh, Lupe influence, dig, 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 uh, diggable, diggable planets. Okay. I got to eat something. Y'all I ain't ate. I've been there for two hours now. Uh, Plus the bathroom. Uh, Sure Will says, feels like Brooklyn track. I can, I agree with that. And Sean come back. Woo, took me back to the 80s. Yes, ma'am. And Sean says, she gave us some more microphones. And Kipper says, we got classic 90s hip hop. Eddie, he says, uh, sounds like a, a Anderson Pack, and I don't like his music. Wow. <laughs> it was okay. the best. Uh, love, the, love his uh, publishing story. Love his, love his radio his publishing story. Sorry, I'm in, I'm in, I'm on the business side. Okay. And my man Alaric uh, said it was cool. Definitely hip hop. The overall performance wavered. The hook was not so full. I would have took a couple of more takes. Far side vibe, cool. Okay, that's I, I gotta get that a, a dap. Uh, Kipper Jones say far side ish. I give it a dap. Okay. What's up, AK? Sean, uh, Tanisha gave it a dap. Those claps were for you, not for the song. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> All give right, it, folks. Give it up for the MC. All right, give it up for the give it up for the show today, folks. Hey, I think we got one more song. I gotta bring I gotta bring Miss uh, Miss Miss Shamika Brown back in, our vice president of audio technology. In charge. In charge of all audio functions. Shamika, what we got for our last <laughs> song, baby? Where you at, darling? Shamika Brown. Ms. Brown, Ms. Brown, where you at? Can you Hello. hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you. you hear me? I got me? you, babe. Okay. So, um, the last song that we have is Kipper Jones, I Want You. Okay. What you, what you got from Kipper Jones? I want you. I want you from Kipper Jones. Yes. All right. All right. Let me run Let's it. see what Kipper Jones bringing to the table tonight, folks. You're live with Lonzo, the Godfather of West Coast Hip Hop, and my guest tonight, Mr. Glenn Jones from yeah. Warehouse Productions. Yeah. Mr. Shabika Brown, Vice President of Audio Technology. What you working with? <laughs> yeah. Cherish 
my man Kipper Jones all right let's see what the what the gallery got to say about Kipper all right uh first of all much love AK uh Tanita Jones she gave it a dap all right uh, let me see no 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 I'm sorry I'm sorry I was from another song Eddie Goodman our Simon of the day says that was your peeps it was cool but it's, it's not radio. I love publishing. Okay. Uh, yes, Cedric, I would love to come back to see some. We'll talk about that. I got your number, Doc. Uh, that song would be uh, would be be okay if, if Disco was back in. Okay. That was Michael Franklin. Eddie says uh, he got skills. I'm not in the top 40 records, but it was cool. Reminds me of Anderson Pack vibe. Okay. Uh, Sean, she got a little confused. She don't know the category. And the category is disco or R&B. AK say, I'm a fan of leaving Marvin Gaye alone. Now these, see, fucking with Marvin, that's, that's them, that's their people. Um, Eddie Goodman says, more disco porn music. Okay. Uh, it, now, now trust me, Eddie is a, uh, he, he is a, a musician and he, he is on the Simon cow mode today. Okay. Sam, uh, he says, what well, the Sandman, where are you? He slapped it. He still, uh, fired the A&R. Michael says some songs should be, not be messed with. Okay. Tanisha, does, she's still clapping for it. Come through to, with a light husky wind pipe for Kipper. Okay, come through with a light husky can. I, I missed that one right there. That sounds like some kinky shit right there. Oh, <laughs> uh, sure will. It's like Luther doing Marvin Gaye song. Okay, oh, okay. Boy. <laughs> uh, Sean comes back. This would be great at a jazz festival or on Pandora. Okay, AK. Love you, Kip. Leave Marvin alone, okay? Sean, um, would love to hear some original music, Kipper, okay? Uh, Alaric, I would pay for dinner at a wedding. I would play it at a dinner or at a wedding reception, okay? Kipper, laugh my ass off. I take it all. That was uh, the other, okay, he was talking about something else. That was, uh, uh, Eddie again. All right, folks. All right, folks. Hey, look here. Uh, we up to about 15 people. We got over 100 comments today. See, there you go. Huh? See, we we, we go. growing like a weed, folks. See, look here. AK, bring me some shit. Eddie, Alaric, y'all know people have got some shit. I'm here every Tuesday, 7 o'clock, Facebook Live and on Zoom. Okay? And if you got something for us, we're going to kick it. If you want to come kick it with me, if you are uh, if you are a music executive, want to come sit in the seat with the, the guest seat, come on down, folks. We can make it happen. I got my next week guest. I ain't gonna tell you yet. But I'll follow my, go to my Facebook page, or go to my uh, website, LonzoWilliams.com. And please, please, folks, 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, Lonzo Williams on YouTube, okay? I want to thank everybody, mm -hmm. everybody uh, for chiming in. Well, I still, I'm still getting, uh, uh, I still, I'm still getting feedback here, okay? Uh, to, good, they man. says, uh, Shanisha says, uh, thank y'all. What'd she say? Eddie say, play some DJ Mustard. Ah, uh -uh, DJ Mustard ain't sent me shit. I ain't playing shit. Uh, play me some DJ Khaled. I ain't DJing. That's, that's, uh, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's our technologist, our vice president in charge of audio technology, Shamika over there doing the music. You got to send the music to us. We only play music that we get. We ain't DJing. Yeah, you can send it to okay. her, we don't know where she at, but you can and send it to And thank you, Shamika. Uh, Tanisha, it was fun for me, too, Don. I had a ball doing this. And everybody that, ch that chimed in, Glenn, thank you for sitting in with hey, me, y'all. Much love to mine, you, man. My mine. We'll be back next Tuesday, y'all. Send your music to Here's My Music, Monzo at gmail.com. Here is. Don't put, the, don't put no hot. You can't put no, uh, no uh, punctuation marks on no, uh, no email address. Here is. My music, Lonzo at gmail.com. And we'll we'll get it to you. We try to we try to do about hopefully we can do about 10 to 15 songs. Do a little talking about the game in between time. Y'all can tune in if you want to see a recap of this. Go to my website, lonzowilliams.com, or my YouTube channel, Lonzo Williams. Go to my YouTube channel. This will be up tomorrow. And folks, I enjoyed y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed us. I heard some interesting songs today. Hope nobody. Get mad and roll up on my ass because, you know, I, I ain't going for that shit. But we only here to give you constructive criticism right. to help you further your career and give you some advice on how to do your thing as you go out in the street. Glenn said, come prepared for the shows. Right. Have more than one type of uh, format Beautiful for your format. music. If you bring it from a phone, put your phone on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> how you going to get a call while you're on the sh doing your show? I happened to be one time, man. Guy was put gave me a phone. And all of a sudden, the people call. Man, I can't talk. I'm doing the show right now. Okay, so technology has changed the game. Ain't no, the ain't no rule books yet. We gotta make a rule book. Maybe we, we can do that. Maybe we should make a rule yeah, book. We can make rule book. Okay. Why can't we? Okay. So in the meantime, folks, we'll be back next Tuesday. Tell your friends if they got some real views, they want some pros to check them out. You never know. We might, you might end up on one of our compilation now. Cedric, thank you for coming in. Keith, AK, Eddie, Sean. Tanisha, all y'all, thank y'all for hanging out with me today, y'all. I'll see y'all next Tuesday at 7 o'clock L.A. time. Peace. We out.